Uh, with high profile school shootings like the one in Parkland, Florida, rocking communities all across America, some school districts are taking matters into their own hands to protect their students. Tonight, CBS 46's Carolyn Bryan takes us inside the first district in Georgia to be locked and loaded. If you come to our school and harm our students or our staff, you will be taken out with deadly force. Lawrence County is the first school district in the state of Georgia to arm its teachers. There's a perception that it's like the Wild West and teachers walking down the hallways with nine millimeters strapped to their side. That's not the case. The policy was researched, vetted, and implemented with the help from local law enforcement. Those who want to participate have to pass a psychological exam and background check. Then they go through intense training with the sheriff's office. But thumbs are forward. Lead trainer Lieutenant Sidney Harrison takes us through some of the drills. Please down. These teachers go through the same training as deputies. Whether it's a pistol or an AR-15 like this one, they won't be armed until they can prove they can handle it. Even though the teachers are not armed with AR-15s, they're still trained in how to use them. They've got to prove competency with several weapons in several scenarios. They're running on a bus loaded with silhouette targets. We have a, a hostage target in the very back of the bus. They're having to make precise gunfire on a hostage target. It's tough. It's very tough. Did you volunteer? I volunteered. I did. He said, this is something I know I need to do. Yes. This teacher, whose identity we agreed to keep confidential, is one of 45 armed staff members. But some critics argue it takes away from their primary job teaching. Do you find that it's taking your focus away in any way from teaching? It hasn't affected me in that way. Um, I would be more upset to know that I was a sitting duck than if I went and helped. Being locked and loaded is a responsibility these teachers don't take lightly, but it's one they'll gladly bear if it means keeping these kids safe. They love these children so dead gum much, they will lay their life down for them. We weren't allowed on any of the school's properties, but we wanted to find out what parents and students thought about guns in the classroom. So we parked at the entrance of one of the middle schools and we talked to as many as we could after school let out. We didn't come across a single person who opposed it. And we'd like to hear your thoughts. Go to CBS46.com to read the full story and weigh in. Carolyn Ryan, CBS 46 News.